Good morning. Uh, this is a, another great day in the work that uh, we've been able to work collectively with our partners, uh, both of our Marshall's uh, unit and as well as uh, Brookhaven. Uh, Chief, thank you for being here. Uh, we have successively uh, brought an individual with a home invasion uh, to justice. Uh, he's arrested. We've been able, been able to recover the AK-47 uh, that was used in this particular home invasion. Uh, I'm not going to get into the details. I've got a number of folk here. Lieutenant Vasquez, you want to brief, uh, brief out on what we were able to do and who we were able to take off the streets, and then we'll go from there and then take any questions that you might have and give the, the chief an opportunity to make a few comments as well. Okay, good, after, good morning. Uh, at approximately uh, 5.20 a.m., the Atlanta Police Fugitive Unit, along with the uh, FBI Ammo Task Force, went to a 1431 Bliss Road at that in, with a warrant for Antoine Wilfork. At that location, uh, we did encounter the suspect, uh, made forced entry into the location, and we were able to take him into custody inside of that location. Uh, inside of that location, we did recover uh, one handgun that was stolen, uh, and we did recover two, two weapons in the attic, uh, one that we believe was possibly used in the home invasion. Uh, at that point in time, he was uh, taken into custody and transported to headquarters uh, for further investigation. That's all I've got. Thank you. Uh, Chief, thank you for your work and your help. Uh, please. Thank you, Chief. I, I would just like to thank the Atlanta Police Department. We had a serious home invasion where our homeowner was actually shot during the home invasion. Um, we work tremendously and greatly together with the Atlanta Police Department, and our detectives are still working with them as we speak. So with that being said, um, we just appreciate all the work and we've put a dangerous person behind bars, hopefully. Great, and, and that's really the content of what we wanted to talk about today, but we're here to take any questions that you might have. We've got a lot of folk here that have worked uh, a lot of hours to bring these, this particular individual to, uh, to be arrested, and so uh, we're here to take any questions that you might have. Well, I, I will allow Lieutenant Vasquez or uh, one of the other commanders to come up, but I will assure you that uh, we're still working uh, with this individual and presenting this information to other uh, possible uh, victims. Good morning. I'm Major Hobbs. I'm the Zone 2 commander. Uh, initially in the investigation, once we were able to identify him as a suspect in a, in a burglary that occurred off of uh, Deering Road, that led us into some other information where he was wanted out of uh, several other jurisdictions, uh, probation violation, I believe, out of uh, Clayton County and another burglary warrant out of DeKalb. Uh, we were also working, as Chief Andura mentioned, with Brookhaven because of their types of crimes. From some good investigative work in my, uh, the, through my CID unit, they were able to identify another burglary, which also led us to the home invasion, which led us to where we are today. Yeah, that's, yes, that's correct. That's him. Any other questions, comments at all? Guys, do we need to provide any additional information to the media? Thank you all, Chief, uh, for your work. Any other point, questions? I'm sorry, yeah. Can, can we start? When was this home invasion that we're, I mean, the uh, burglaries that we're talking about? Mm -hmm. kind of Come on. Do you want to talk about Don't be shy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be rude. Uh, Going from recollection, I believe it was around the 11th of October that is when we had our home invasion and burglary. Oh, October. I, I did say, I'm sorry. August. Mm -hmm. uh, my bad. Uh, they were committed on the, ours were committed on the same day. Uh, the two that we had the video on that we were referring to, the home invasion and the burglary. A week prior to that, there was a uh, robbery over in uh, a park on the west side of Atlanta that the suspect uh, we believe is involved in that also. So we have three instances that we're looking at. We have a lot of unsolved crimes that he fits the general description and we're working further with forensics. Uh, we're gonna do uh, DNA tests and stuff like that, trying to match him to clear some of our other crimes. Can you talk more about the victims in these cases? <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, the first victim in the park on the west side, she was a young lady. She was a photographer out taking pictures of the park. Uh, he drove up, he kind of made small conversations and then it turned, uh, when she turned her attentions away back to what she was doing, he uh, produced a gun and took 
the contents of her, her vehicle. Um, we were able to track some of it, but uh, it, it was just a little more information that we put to the pot that we, you know, the description of the car and him and everything else. Uh, the second victim was the home invasion victim off of Howell Mill Road. She was a, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to say elderly woman, but uh, she, was, she was a middle-aged woman. She was home, uh, and he entered the house and ended up at gunpoint taking some of her property uh, and uh, leaving there, going maybe uh, a mile away from there and then committing the burglary on an unoccupied house. And that's where we got the video from that house that really helped us out. So how did you pick these homes or these victims? Were they just at random or between? As far as we know, we have not interviewed him yet, but as far as we know, yes, they were random. And were, were these all during the day? Uh, yes, ma'am. Were you sure whose property was that? Uh, it's we'll yeah. We'll yeah. I'm sorry. We'll send you the report and then we'll leave it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. And what tip led you to the suspect? Say that, ma'am. What tip led you all to the suspect? Uh, that's Lieutenant Vasquez's people did some outstanding uh, background. Yeah, so it, it was just a few It was just a. Uh, and just correct my mistake on the AK 47. Right, so the, the weapon, the AK 47 that was recovered today, a, a, a it's a replica. It is a very, very, very good replica that. All of my guys, uh, until we handled the weapon, felt that it was a an actual AK-47. But in fact, it's a you know either an airsoft rifle or uh, but but it looks ex I mean loaded with the magazine and the bullets exactly. It wasn't until we took the weight of the weapon that we were really able to tell that it in fact was a replica or a fake weapon. But it uh, looked exactly like it with a folding stock and a magazine that goes into the well that exposes uh, bullets. So uh, just that correction on the weapon that anybody that would encounter that weapon on the street would believe that it's an actual real weapon. Uh, with regards to the apprehension of the suspect, just some good fugitive investigative work by the lead investigator, which was Mark Cooper, uh, just following up on leads and uh, doing good surveillance work. And again, this morning he was out very early at about 3 a.m. and saw a vehicle that he had not seen at the location previous to today. And as a result of that, he felt that uh, we had enough to, to put the suspect at that location, and that's when it was determined to go ahead and execute the arrest warrant at that location, and that's how we were able to take him into custody. So you all have been looking for this individual, right? Yes, ma'am. We, uh, yeah, we, we obtained the warrants from Zone 2 Command on August the 25th, and I've been looking for him from that date. So uh, Investigator Cooper checked several, several locations, just some really good investigative work, and finally today it all culminated and we were able to feel like we had enough to, uh, to put him at that location, and it, uh, it was a success. So who was the, the AK-47? Do you think that was the weapon that was used in all of these crimes? We believe it was, uh, based on the investigators, uh, what they were looking for when we showed them photographs of the weapon. That's, that's, we believe that's the weapon that it was used. And again, uh, just to look at it, you're, you're thinking that you're looking at an actual assault rifle. All right, thank you. Anyone else was in the home? Yes. Yes. All right, thank you. We'll send out a release um, with more of this detail. All right, thank you.